Oh, hi. Today, guys, is my last tutorial on my Adobe Make the Cut contest effects, and we are going to take a look at those triangles effect, and the technique I use is called track mats. Let's go right into it. So first thing, you need to understand what is an alpha channel. As you must know, a composite image is made of three channels, RGB, but there is a fourth channel, which is called the alpha channel, and which includes transparency. So let's create a shape in Photoshop and make sure the background is transparent or blank by those white and gray squares, that means you have no background, um, and save it as a PNG. Let's go to Premiere Pro, place our clip and our alpha shape. Let's now go to the effect panel and look for the track mat key effect and place it on our clip. The track mat key effect allows us to show a layer within the content of a layer above it. For example, we only want to show this clip within the triangle. So let's go to the effect control panel and let's go to the track mat key effect. Let's set the mat to video 2 because that's the video layer where our triangle is. And as you can see, the clip is now only shown in the triangle. As you might notice, this effect offers two mat options, alpha mat and luma mats. The alpha mat only takes care if there is a pixel or not, whereas the luma mat takes care of the luminosity of the image. For example, let's replace our triangle by a gradient. For now, nothing has changed because our gradient is actually a 1080 by 1920 pixels image. But if I scale it down, you see that the clip is being cropped. That is the alpha mat. Let's now turn the mat to luma, and as you can see, the white part of the gradient is the part where the clip shows and the dark part disappears. So for all those triangles effect, I use an alpha triangle that I put on above my clip, put the track mat key effect on my clip, which I set to alpha mat, and there you go, you have it. And uh, you can animate your triangle by keyframing it, on scales, po position, rotation, as much as you like. But I also use the luma mat to create a transition using that Adobe clip. So you have that smoky burst. And just as I did with that triangle alpha, you place that clip above my original clip, set the track mat key to luma, and there you go. You can also use this effect to make your video appear within a text by just creating a text, place it on top of your video, set your track mat to the video layer where your text is, and voila. Very short tutorial, but very simple. So that's it for me, guys. This is the end of those three tutorials. I really loved making them, so I hope you learned stuff, you enjoyed them. If you do, please like, hit that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to comment if you have any questions or suggestions for a future tutorial, I don't know. And I hope I see you guys soon.